Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome back to Jane Austen July. Today I'm going to be doing the Jane Austen July tag. So Jane Austen July, if you don't know, is a readathon hosted by me and Marissa from Blatantly Bookish and this year we thought we would create a tag. So Marissa did this tag a few weeks ago and it's been nice to see it going around on booktube. I'm a bit late to the party because I've been on holiday. In her tag video, Marissa said that me and her created it together. But I think it's fair to say that the majority of work and the majority of questions from this tag do come from Marissa. So I will link Marissa's original tag video down below and do go check that out as well. Question one, what is your favourite Jane Austen book? My favourite Jane Austen book has to be Pride and Prejudice. I love all of Jane Austen's novels and I think all of them are fantastic but there's something about Pride and Prejudice that I just adore that is just so funny and so heartwarming and so lovely and so enjoyable and is paced so right and the characterization is done so well and the character development is so good and I just completely completely love it. This follows um, the Bennett family specifically the two of the five daughters of the family Elizabeth and Jane um, and their various romantic entanglements and their mother's efforts to get them married. It is funny and fantastic. It is about money and reputation and class and love and marriage and it's just it's just amazing. It must be maybe Joke with Wuthering Heights my most reread book ever and I just every time I reread it I just I just love it even more. Question two, who is your favourite Jane Austen protagonist? While Pride and Prejudice is my favourite Jane Austen novel, I would say that Elizabeth Bennet is not my favourite Jane Austen protagonist, though she's possibly my second favourite, um, but my favourite Jane Austen protagonist would be Fanny Price from Mansfield Park. Mansfield Park is my second favourite Jane Austen book. I love it a lot. I think in some ways it's possibly a better book than Pride and Prejudice, in some ways, but I also like Pride and Prejudice makes me happier when I read it it's more of a comfort read, whereas Mansell Park is like a really interesting, I want to study this and tear this apart read. Um, and Fanny Price is a really interesting protagonist. She is not like Elizabeth Bennet at all, she's not like quite a lot of other of Jane Austen's heroines. Fanny Price is quiet, reserved, timid, meek, physically weak, but emotionally very strong and morally very strong and while she may be quiet and while she may be reserved she is also like very strong in what she wants for herself and she's very interesting in that most of Jane Austen's heroines over the course of their books go through like big character development but Fanny kind of doesn't need to because she's already who she should be from the beginning um, and I just think she's a really fantastic character for being someone who on the surface appears to be quite weak but is actually very very strong in herself and she's very quiet and she's not witty and she's very meek but she's like also she knows what she wants from life um, and she knows what's right and she sticks to that and I love her for it and I I think she's a brilliant protagonist. Question three, name a book off your shelves that you think Jane would have wholeheartedly approved of and why? So I am going to pick this book, The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope, as a stand-in for the whole work of Anthony Trollope. I just feel like Jane Austen would have enjoyed Anthony Trollope's work because he, like her, is mostly dedicated to realism but also likes a slight exaggeration for the purpose of wit. Um, and I feel in some ways that their writing styles complement each other quite well. Also, um, like Jane Austen, Anthony Trollope writes a lot about money um, and the connection between marriage and money and also like Jane Austen um, in his books The Bar Setcher Chronicles he writes a lot about clergymen and different kinds of clergymen which is something I think Jane Austen would have found quite interesting so I think Jane Austen would have enjoyed Anthony Trollope. Question four, name a book off your shelves you think Jane would have hated and why? So I don't have it on my shelves so I did previously. Um, for this I would like to pick Death Comes to Pemberley. Um, and I feel like it's a slight cheat to pick a Jane Austen retelling, so I will give another answer too. But I just think that Death Comes to Pemberley, as a Jane Austen retelling slash sequel, is terrible because the characters, in my opinion, bear no relation to the characters in Pride and Prejudice. It's just the quite interesting Regency mystery where she's borrowed the characters from Pride and Prejudice's names, but not their personalities. I read Death Comes to Pemberley and was really confused because I just didn't think the characters felt like the characters in Pride and Prejudice, and I feel like Jane Austen would think that too, and I feel like it would upset her very much. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I feel like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies will probably confuse and upset her more, but I think Death Go Comes to Pemberley would annoy her. But because I feel like there's a slight cheat, I'm also going to hold up Nicholas Nickleby by Charles Dickens as a stand-in for the whole works of Charles Dickens. Now, I don't know that Jane Austen would have disliked Charles Dickens, but because Jane Austen is a realist with a little bit of exaggeration, and Dickens is 
more on the exaggeration. Don't get me wrong, I think there are a lot of like really interesting things Dickens does in terms of blending realism and exaggeration, but he takes it to a much greater extent than Jane Austen and is much more given to melodrama than Jane Austen, which is something I love, but I feel like Jane Austen might have struggled with it a bit. Um, and I find it quite interesting to note that my two favourite authors, Jane Austen and Dickens, have very, very, very different writing styles, um, and I'm not sure that Jane Austen would have liked Dickens that much, so yeah. Question five, who is your favourite minor Jane Austen character? I found this quite hard because there are a lot of minor characters that I love and that I find incredibly funny and cleverly created um, and it's also hard to know where I draw the line of minor character. Um, for example, my favourite underrated Jane Austen character that not many people know about would be Lady Susan from Lady Susan, but obviously she's not a minor character within her work, but I just feel like not enough people know about her so I wanted to mention her here when I have the chance. In terms of an actual minor character from Jane Austen, I love Miss Bates from Emma, I love Mrs Elton from Emma. I think in fact Emma, while it's not my absolute favourite Jane Austen book, I think it has some of the best minor characters in all of Jane Austen. I love Jane Fairfax as well. But then in Pride and Prejudice you have Caroline Bingley or Lady Catherine de Bourgh, Charlotte Lucas, all of these amazing fully fledged characters who are not centre stage but still are really important. Or in Sense of Sensibility you have people like the Palmers who are not important at all but are also like fully realised and really interesting. Mrs Jennings I find very very entertaining, I really like her in Sense of Sensibility. There are so many amazing minor characters in Jane Austen. I think my absolute favourite might be Caroline Bingley. Not that I want to like sit down and be her friend, but I think she is one of the most fully realised of the slightly more comic, spiteful characters. And she's just a really interesting character in like her jealousy and her pretensions and her youth and want of understanding about so many things. And the way that like how much power she has shifts over the course of the novel is something I find really interesting as well. Question six, name a book off your shelves that you feel was somehow inspired by Jane Austen's body of work. So there's definitely quite a few I could pick off for this. Last year in Jane Austen July I did a video of like Victorian novels I would recommend if you like Jane Austen. Victorian authors who I think were somehow inspired by Jane Austen's body of work. People like Elizabeth Gaskell with her book North and South which is very Pride and Prejudice-esque in its plot, though full of social critique of industrialization and many other glorious things. Um, or The Small House at Allington by Anthony Trollope which is quite like Sense and Sensibility in some ways in its setup, but quite different and I love it all the more because of that. It's it's fantastic and a book I would really recommend. Though it is the fifth book in the Barsetshire Chronicles and I would recommend reading the other four first, but it's worth it, trust me. <laughs> but another author who I feel was really influenced and inspired by Jane Austen is Barbara Pym. This is her book Excellent Women, it's the only book by her which I've read, which I really loved and has quite a Jane Austen tone to it. And she's definitely an author I would recommend if you like Jane Austen, I think um, Alexander McCall Smith described her as like um, the 20th century Jane Austen but sort of forgotten. Her writing is very wonderful and she has that kind of Jane Austen way of picking out small things in society and looking at the bigger picture of the world through small details. So yeah, I definitely feel like Barbara Pym was influenced by Jane Austen. Question seven, which Jane Austen character do you simply love to hate? There are many of these and I think they would fall into like two categories. There are like the silly I love to hate because they're spiteful and they're a bit silly. People like Mr Collins who I like to hate and to laugh at at the same time and Caroline Bingley and Mrs Elton and so on. And then there are the characters who are dislikable in many ways but I also feel like I have an understanding for because they are fully realised characters. I feel like my answers to this question may be a slight spoiler because these are characters who you might not necessarily hate when they first introdu are introduced, so um, unless you've read all of Jane Austen maybe just like walk away now. I think my two favourite characters for this, who are two of my favourite characters in all of Austen, are Willoughby from Sense and Sensibility and Henry Crawford from Mansfield Park. Willoughby and Henry Crawford are both so fully realised and although they make mistakes and they do bad things and they mess up and they're not always good, their emotions are thorough and deep and human and for that they are such complex and brilliant characters and so though I kind of dislike them in many ways I also love to read about them because I think Jane Austen has created fully human people that I love to read about because they're so interesting even if I don't always like them. 
Because I am a little bit late to the party on my own sort of own tag here, I'm not sure who will have done this tag by the time I get it up. Um, so I will link down below in the description a few different channels who I tag to do it if you haven't already been tagged. And in general, if you're participating in Jane Austen July, if you like Jane Austen, consider yourself tagged. Please do go ahead and feel free to do this tag in the month of August and beyond. Although it is the Jane Austen July tag, it does not have to be confined to July. And yeah, I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a good Jane off in July now that we're into the final week I guess and yeah thanks very much for watching I'll be back very soon with another bookish video